Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tara as usual and I'm back to my old tricks. It's haul time and I have a hell of a lot of stuff to show you guys. It's literally about one or two months worth of stuff so I really need to get straight into it. I've actually decided to separate the Zara bits I got. I picked up five or six pieces from Zara and the sale and stuff like that but I'm actually going to keep that for next week's haul because I think there's some interesting bits in there that I think are just, you know, too fabulous that they just need their own hauls. So plan is to dive straight into my stuff um, starting with ASOS and then kind of filtering out through bits and pieces I picked off websites that I usually work with. You guys know the drill by now so we better just get straight into it. Links down below as always. To start the haul off on a good note I'm going to be showing you a little bit of something from Motel and it's this gorgeous dress which I've been dying to try for the longest. I've seen it a lot on other YouTubers and bloggers and it is the Motel Gabby dress which is basically the equivalent of of a mermaid's outfit. Um, it's kind of a dark velvet with these gorgeous green sequins that are just so iridescent and so gorgeous and green is my favorite color so this baby is right up my street for party season. Um, really really cute dress and exciting stuff. Motel have actually given me the chance to run a little giveaway for you guys so you can pick anything from their new collection like their new season collection um, from their site. All you have to do is follow the link below to the giveaway. I have a little like wrap of a copter widget on my site so all your information will be private and I will be picking a winner from that completely at random. It's the fairest way to do it. Good luck to all of you and let's get back into the haul. I have one pair of shoes and seeing as they're the only pair I thought I would start off with them and they are recently from ASOS. I just got them. So if you just tuned into my haul for the first time, if you've never watched me before, I know you guys are going to stick around after looking at these shoes. I think they're from the ASOS premium collection so they're really really well made. They've got that like really... Oh, they've got that really like sexy height to them and they've got that nice kind of... they cut into the foot nicely. It's really easy to find like stiletto black court shoes but I think the more expensive ones always cut near the toes and these ones are absolutely perfect so the only thing I would change about them is I would have loved them in leather but I couldn't seem to find any anywhere in leather after Christmas um, that had that nice sort of deep cut in the toe so they were gorgeous I believe they were £38 and they look absolutely killer on. They are killer to walk in as well and um, definitely taxi to club shoes or restaurant shoes but they look amazing. You know when your girl is looking for something you just hit that search bar and ASOS always has it. So I was looking for a sort of, ugh, I don't know, like a really slick black coat and you know like I said there is a million black coats out there but it's about finding the perfect one with the perfect fit and the perfect cut just like the shoes and I found it on ASOS, I finally got my hands on it, the size 10 was perfect for me and it's this black coat from ASOS so it's just a really really slick long line black coat it goes really really long probably to halfway down my shins I actually feel better than Benedict Cumberbatch in Sherlock when I wear this coat. The camera really isn't doing it justice at all, but it just doesn't have any gross hardware on it or anything. Even the buttons are hidden once the jacket is actually closed and oh, it just looks so good on. If you wanna see it on, I will link the exact Instagram picture down below for you guys so you can have an idea of the fit and stuff like that. But it looks really cool with like trainers and I don't know, just that slick kind of minimal look. And I believe that was 70 pounds from ASOS. I've been going through a bit of a fashion change, like going into 2015, I know the kind of style that I want. And I've just been sort of trying to replan my wardrobe to fit that style and try and get all that like those old little stragglers out that just you know won't go away that I can't let go of so 2015 is going to be a bit more of a new look for me not a new look but again a lot more on the minimal and a lot more womanly I think so so I think trousers are a brilliant way to do that and I picked up a few pairs so I got this sort of I don't know dark very dark emerald green pair so this is what they look like they are a little bit darker than they're showing up on camera and they're just a really like slick pair of trousers. Again, I've been picking up trousers because I think they look great with knitwear, which I have a lot of, and they just look great with everything and they look very kind of androgynous as well. So I also got them in a pale sort of pink color. I don't know, it's not like a super girly pink, it's like a muted pink. And 
These are in a slightly shinier material and again these are pretty big on me, they're like a full size too big unfortunately. They just, they're a little bit more, these ones are like more ankle grazers. Chewies did not disappoint with me this month and I picked out, I kind of went camel crazy, like everything in my order was practically camel. I went for this kind of knitted wide armed kind of grey camel, I started like again a muted camel colour and it's just a very very simple, a very plain, I get loads, I've already gotten loads of wear out of this but the wide arms are quite like a nice touch, they're a little bit 70s so it's a lot more warm and it's basically just a very easy pullover kind of top jersey material and um, what I liked about this one though was it has like I know I'm all about those fine touches it has like a raw edge like none of it is hemmed like it's not hemmed or anything it's just the fabric is just cut and I really really liked that detail and if you're taking like outfit pictures with your sleeves and your rings just that raw edge is gonna look really really good I don't know how I got this wrong because I always pick my sizes online right but I didn't get them right this time for some reason. I got the size large and it is far, far too big. It really is like a proper large, which is an unusual for like an Asian side. But anyway, um, again, continuing on with the trouser theme, I got these uh, camo kind of, I don't know, cool trousers and they're like high-waisted and really, really long legged. They go, like they have like a white leg all the way down and they flare out a little bit. But I think if I could just get them taken in like, this much they'd be perfect you saw me style this piece in one of my lookbooks but i actually got it as a set it's the um kind of lacy set from chewies it's kind of a love and lemons tube or love for lemons love and lemons love and Ugh, you know what I mean Um, really really cute lace top it's kind of like a Chantilly lace effect and it's really 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 nice quality Um, I actually got another one of these in a bigger size which I'm selling on my Depop because it's a little bit too big but I got this one as like a cord set so this is the little top it has a nude slip and these are the bottom so again just the white lace with a gorgeous wee kind of lace pattern on it with a nude slip underneath so it does fit me the only thing is it's very very short so the motivation is by summer to look banging and something as skimpy as this misguided can we just have an actual second their stuff is just getting better and better and better and their designers are just so on the buzzer in terms of like affordable fashionable stuff firstly this Leather dress, I really love this kind of sleeve length. I know it's probably going to look really like plasticky in the artificial light, but actually it's a really nice faux leather in real life. I love these sort of elbow length sleeves. I think it's really, really chic. And it just goes into like a little mini dress. So I thought that was just a big, like a, I don't know, just a good staple for the wardrobe. Something a little bit edgy, but still quite conservative in a way. Next up, oh my God. This jacket, you guys are gonna kill it. I think Kim Kardashian wore something similar to this and I've been on the hunt for this for ages, but it sold out the first time I went to buy it. It's this faux leather, again, in real life, this faux leather is really, really nice. Like it does look like real leather. Um, and it's this kind of blazer with kind of gold buttons on it. It's very like Balmain-ish, I think. Yeah, I got it in the size eight and it's really, 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 really cool. Final piece from Misguided, uh, I got a new camel coat. You guys know I have one from Zara, but it doesn't have this kind of classic, you know, front like this. And this is really like the shape of my black one that I just showed you guys, but it's a little bit shorter. It's still a long line coat. Um, it comes to, yeah, sort of mid, mid shin and it's gorgeous. It's just, you know, the camel coat. And Misguided again did really like really really good with this it doesn't have any buttons no hardware or anything and it's pretty affordable as well so, oh my god if you guys actually saw the effort it takes me to get back into the steel every time i go to pick up something you would not think i'm a professional youtuber Ooh. random one in there just the one piece from front row shop i think it's killer again would look sick underneath a nice knitted jumper because you know I'm a knitted jumper fiend and um, it's kind of like a leather midi skirt it does have like little kind of mini side slits here uh, and also what I the love well, what I loved about it was the fact it kind of has like a trouser closure at the front because again it sort of just reminded me of my collection and just had that slightly androgynous touch to it Onto my sheen side bits, I'm gonna get this bit out of the way because I meant to show you this months ago, but I have started wearing it again recently. Basically, it's just a little simple 
cami kind of slip length dress with strappy sleeves and cute little furred print but the way I've been styling all my dresses from the summer that I have that are very like this I've just been popping like a little turtleneck so like maybe a cream turtleneck underneath this for the winter pair of tights looks really really cute and it just gives you an extra wear out of those kind of summer pieces another sort of first for me well something I haven't done in a long time is I never really went all into like cords and like little sets and stuff. I like the doodle. I think it's a poodle in a doodle basically, but it's a little bit more abstract. So it's just a skirt um, with kind of little box pleats on it. I think this is the front actually. So it just has a little kind of box pleat in it and it's just really cute, really flowy. And you can hide the elastic band underneath the little matching top that's super, super cute that goes with it. And like I said, the fabric is like this really, really, really nice, like stretchy chamois, so it does look more expensive. And it sort of has like a mini turtleneck on it as well. A lot of you guys asked me about the sweater that I wore in my beauty haul, my last video. I will link it at the end of this video if you want to watch it next. But it's a really, really nice quality. Again, it's from Sheen Side. The yarn is so, so soft and it's not itchy at all or acrylic-y looking. And it's basically just like a little cable knitted, really, really thick grey jumper with a massive, massive, massive turtleneck on it. I was thinking sort of under like a knitted jumper like that that this skirt would be really cute. Again not something I would pick but it looks really cute on the model and it's just a stretchy jersey skirt with ruching up the sides but it has sort of like a side slit on it. Next piece is something I accidentally ordered two of so I got one from Sheenside and I got one from Romwe so I will be giving one away to you guys as a little gift so all you have to do for that is comment in the down bar below make sure your YouTube is not on private so I can reply to your comment if you win or um, YouTube mail you or whatever and all you have to do is I don't know tell me about your day and what you did that day and yeah I'll pick a winner at random worldwide of course and this is this cute little black crepe crop top really nice fabric it's actually a dupe for the Zara one that was out a little while back but I never wanted to splurge the money on that one so this one's a lot more affordable and it's the one with the little cute little buckle detail with the sort of wrap around belt at the bottom onto Ronwe I got this really really cute bag it says best milk ever and it's just I don't know one of those kind of quirky I don't know pieces that you'd usually see at like street style after like London Fashion Week and stuff like that when you see those kind of really big fashionistas and they always have like quirky little accessories so I picked this one up because it was lots of fun and it says taste delicious with schnitzels and noodles whatever the hell that means but yeah it's just a cute little kind of I don't know gimmicky kind of kitschy bag. There's a few pieces in here that I wasn't really sure about but I just wanted to try. Um, this is one of them. It's I just really like the fabric. I don't know why I got it but it's sort of this bat winged uh, grey kind of button up and I just thought it was really simple. It looks really good with the buttons open but it's sort of a cropped length so yeah I thought it was another cute piece. I picked up this little black knitted crop top because I just thought it was sort of cute and I am a sucker for anything that's knitted and in a weird shape like this because it's not often you see kind of knitted camisoles. And then just because we all can't be basic bitches all the time, um, I something in me just wanted to try out this top, I don't know why. Um, it's this button up, it's kind of like a paint splattered effect but like I said sometimes you just need those pieces in your wardrobe to zhuzh up kind of more basic bottoms and I thought this might do it so I will try and style it I'm not that sure about it but I think I still think it's kind of I don't know I think it looks like it could be expensive but I'm not quite sure um and yeah again really affordable uh from Ramwe. I picked this up because there was something kind of I don't know like 70s about it I have no idea very like Dukes of Hazard or something um and it's just this kind of v-neck wrap like cotton like it has a denim look to it and it's kind of washed out and I just really liked the embroidery on it hopefully it'll be a bit of a challenge for me to style and just something a bit interesting for the summer another sort of denim looking piece well it is sort of denim I think um a little bit short for me uh, maybe a very bit short but it's really cute it still looks nice with tights and it just has this like shirt effect so it looks like there's a shirt wrapped around the waist and I thought it looked really cute on the model um, and again just something I don't know quirky that I may, might be able to style up Hey everyone it is Sunday 
nearly afternoon. I'm about to go to work. Um, as you guys know, I work at Chanel every year. I don't know how to describe it. It's sort of like a cream bronzer. It looks like it's kind of whipped, but it's not. It's actually quite like a solid formula. 